Hello! Today I'm going to do another video for Split Coast Stampers. This is a technique video. And we're going to learn how to make these really beautiful backgrounds. Um, and they're so easy to do. And you can create your own variations and effects using blendability markers. That's what we're going to use as our tools today. I suggest the first time you try this that you basically try it with just a few markers. Um, then later on as you get to know the process better you can add colors. We're also going to use some glossy cardstock just cut to like card size and believe it or not a Ziploc bag. Um, it doesn't matter what brand of Ziploc or what kind of uh, closure it has because basically you're going to keep it closed the whole time. We are never going to open that bag. We have a liquid that we need with this as well and you have one of two choices. You can use rubbing alcohol or you can use alcohol blending solution. Whichever one you decide to use, you need to find yourself a spray bottle and just put that liquid into a spray bottle because you're going to be spraying it on as opposed to sponging or dripping it on. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start by taking one of my glossy cardstocks. These are cut down to the size of a, your card front and I'm going to put it under the Ziploc bag. And all that does for me is help me to kind of keep track of where I need to cover, you know, what, what space, what amount of space I need to cover. And I'm just also taking a little bit of remo uh, removable tape and just securing everything down. And then uh, put that under your bag and have another piece the exact same size that you're going to use for the technique itself. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to find this is so easy. What I have is I have my darkest shades of Old Olive, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. And I also have one from the Neutral Family. I always like to add one from the Neutral Family just because, you know, even in nature, there's always neutrals. Or I'll add a, you know, or make sure I have a green in there. Again, nature has greens and neutrals all the time. And they blend well with most colors. This one is the bronze. Okay, so start with whatever color marker you want and start scribbling. You can scribble anywhere on your Ziploc. Again, um, the, the glossy cardstock that I have on here right now is under the Ziploc and I'm scribbling on top of the Ziploc. And I'm scribbling randomly different colors. And I chose my color palette in advance. Now one thing that you might like to do on your own is when it comes to choosing what colors you use use um, we have we have the the designer series paper in the Stampin Up yearly catalog the annual catalog all the colors from the designer series paper are outlined directly under them those color palettes work well together and you can't go wrong using them so just because you're not using designer series paper doesn't mean you can't use the color palettes in the Stampin' Up! catalog right under the designer series paper to get some ideas of what colors might blend together well. And so just remember that. I think what I want is maybe another a, a darker orange now that I look at this. But I'm going to keep going with this because I think it's good enough for this sample. If, you know, normally I might have added another bright color because this is going to be pretty uh, muted. Okay, so now that I've scribbled over that and that looks like a, a seriously hot mess, I'm going to take that spray bottle and I'm going to wet this up. So I'm literally spraying all over this Ziploc bag until that ink actually looks like it's running. So it wants to be wet. And now I'm going to take my other piece of card, my other piece of glossy cardstock, laying it down glossy first. Now, when you lay this down, it's going to start to take on the inks. You can also twist it off or lift it off. Depending on how you lift it off, the ink is also going to add some really great variation. And I'll kind of show you that on some of my other backgrounds. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Was that not the easiest thing you've ever seen before? Now, there's a little bit of white there, and I love it, but if you don't want any white, just lay it right back down on an area where there's some ink, and pick up some ink, and voila. And this, I mean, I, I hope you can see this really well. 
Look at that artwork that we did in all of 30 seconds. Really fast and easy and all I did was scribble. Let me show you some other ones that I've done just to kind of look at them. Um, these are the ones I showed you right in the beginning of the video, but look at that. And sometimes you can target, like this looks like land and water and sunlight. Here's one that I just thought was just wonderful, it just reminded me like of a beach. I just love the marble effect of this one. I love the greens and I actually love the little sparks of white. So go ahead and let it have some specks of white. Here you can tell, if you look at this closer, you can tell that when I picked it up, I swiped it up. Like as I picked it up, I pulled. And that gave me this really interesting strokes. I really love how they turned out. Here's another one that's like a soft background, but it reminds me of, say I'm looking at a marbled table or even like way, way out in space. Here's one to me that just looks like water and sky again. And here's the one we just did. Now let me show you some cards I did with this technique. By the way, I didn't explain to you that. To clean this bag, just take that same spray that you're using on the glossy cardstock and wipe it and it comes perfectly clean. And you can just go ahead and keep this bag in with your markers. So let's look at some cards that I made. This was one of the first cards I made. Now this one, interesting thing, I'll tell you what the technique was on this one, which gave it those kind of blotches all over the place, is I took the glossy cardstock between the paper bag, um, not inside, but just between kind of folding the paper bag over itself, and then I took my finger and squished. And just taking my thumbs and my fingers and squishing gave me this nice effect. So go ahead and try like rubbing, swiping, uh, scrunching, and see what different effects you get. Here's one where I took advantage of that kind of land, sky, sun uh, background, and I just framed it. In this case, I just cut a square into the front of, the, of a piece of watercolor paper, and I covered it with a piece of paper on this side, and I'm okay with that. I did emboss that same square on this side so I could write my message inside. So that's one way of, of creating a frame. Came out really pretty. I love it. This is the Wetland stamp set. So don't hesitate to stamp on these backgrounds. Here's one where I combined like the background with a Spellbinder's die and a, and a piece of black cardstock. And I just took a stencil and a Sharpie marker and, and sketched the fishes right directly onto the background in a, in a way that I think looks transparent, like the fish are transparent or they're just blending in. And this one in my mind is underwater. So this is land from under the water, sunlight from under the water, and then the water. So I really enjoyed doing this one. Here's some ideas for you. Take that cardstock, cut it down into small squares. And if you're a clean and simple fan, just mount it on a card base beautifully. Beautiful, have a beautiful artistic card in minutes. And I can get four of cards because I've cut the cardstock down to smaller components. Here's another idea take a piece of uh, 12 by 12 cardstock and cut the center panel to make a square, and then put your background inside there and close this. And now you have a, a neater version of my first card that I showed you, um, which makes kind of like a, a frame protected. And then you have that kind of way of artistically displaying your beautiful background. Again, feel free to stamp on this and with a sentiment or um, add die cuts. I mean, the sky's the limit. Enjoy this new technique. And I wish you happy stamping, and so does Split Coast Stampers. We hope that you enjoy these techniques. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.